What did you say to him? When? Hey, take it easy. What's wrong with you? Did I misunderstand something? I think you did. I'm sorry. It's a sedative. I'm not exactly myself. Sounded like typical Gwen to me. Very so. So, what did she say to you? She apologized for what happened earlier with the, uh, the earring. She should have. And for saying that little Ethan could call me daddy. Why did she say that? Look, I think I misunderstood. You know how close I am to little Ethan. I think she felt if little Ethan could call me daddy, it would make me feel better if anything had happened to John. Me. Right, but she apologized and it was an error in judgment. Mm. That's an understatement. Some things really should be left unsaid. And now is really not the time to be talking about uh, losing children because I have lost a child and I know you have. And wouldn't it be really, really devastating to lose another child? It's the kind of thing that destroys families. That is how apologized, Gwen. Then I, there's nothing else to say. Mm -hmm. Gwen, you, you are really on edge. I mean, I know, look, I know you're worried about Jonathan. We all are, but wait till the operation is over. You're right. You're right. It's just that Ethan, our baby, you know, he's in surgery. He's being cut open right now as we speak, and I know this is my fault. This is all my fault. I should have brought him to the hospital sooner. Please, can you ever forgive me? Please, whoa, whoa, can you no, ever no. forgive listen, me? I'm listen so to me. sorry. Listen to me. I'm not blaming you. Well, you should, because I'm a terrible, terrible mother. No, you're a human being is what you are. Human? She's a snake. Shameless. I was asleep. What happened? There's no word from the doctor yet. The nurse said that the parents of the liver donor wanted to remain anonymous, but I wanted to thank them. The nurse told me that the mother was here in this but room. she left. Right, but I'm, I'm going to track her down. I mean, her son's in surgery. She's got to be in the hospital somewhere. Okay, you do that. I don't, I don't mean to carp, but I don't understand your attitude tonight. Look, I, I, I did apologize. Honey, I know you did. It's just not like you to be insensitive. I know you. I mean, is, what's going on? Is there something wrong? If I could tell you, I, I, I would. Just uh, don't be gone too long, okay? I'll, uh, I'll meet you in the waiting room. You better make sure she keeps her mouth shut. And thank God she didn't tell Ethan the truth, because uh, you know what happens if she does. You're making threats now, Gwen. My son is in surgery, saving your child's life as we speak. That doesn't change anything. So you do whatever you need to do to make sure she keeps quiet. One word of the truth to Ethan, and I expose you. So are we clear? Yes. And of course, you need to make sure that little Ethan also keeps his mouth shut when he wakes up. Why don't you worry about your own child and leave my family alone, huh? You do what I tell you, and you'll have a family to worry about. Uh, any word? No, not yet. Let's just hope no news is good news. Here's your coffee. Thank you. Frustrated, I couldn't find the donor's mother anywhere. I just, I just want to thank her. I mean, can you imagine how generous and selfless this woman has to be? Uh, are you sure maybe uh, money didn't change hands? Why would you say something like that? No. No, as far as I'm concerned, she's probably the most wonderful woman in the world. Two hours ago, I was ready to accept the fact that Jonathan wasn't going to make it. 
now, thanks to an anonymous donor, he's gonna live. I mean, I just wanna thank this guardian angel. How long does this operation take? I don't know. I was asleep when it started. I've been so nervous about Jonathan, I keep forgetting about how lucky we are. I mean, if it weren't for this donor, Gwen, I mean, Jonathan might not even be around right now. No, don't even say that. I'm just, I, I want to meet the donor. I want to say thank you. I mean, may, maybe the father's around. All we've heard about is the mother. I don't know. She's got to be one hell of a woman, Gwen. So I tell you, if I was put in the same position, I don't know if I could allow my child to make a sacrifice like that. She's got to be really special.